We're tight for di time, David. Sorry, only about 90 seconds for each idea. Schlumberger, why do you like the look of this one? Uh, we talked earlier about businesses that were way ahead of trend. We talked about cloud computing, and that's had years of strong growth. Schlumberger is a picks and shovels company. They provide capital goods and services to oil companies that are trying to replace their declines. That is a business that's way below trend. Uh, Schlumberger's only had a few quarters of growth uh, since a very long down cycle ended, and the world needs fossil fuels. It doesn't seem escapable. This is a way to participate, and it's a best-in-class company. Strauss Group, uh, Israeli-based maker of snack products. So Strauss Group uh, had a couple recalls last year. It's a long-term holding of ours. We've owned it for over 10 years. Uh, they had a recall related to uh, cookies, confection, chocolate bars. They also had a hummus recall. That meant that last year they had elevated costs, and this year the production is restored, the corrective actions have been taken, and I imagine margins are going to get better. And the categories they produce, which includes the ones I mentioned earlier, plus coffee, are some of the best performing, fastest growing categories within the food business. And finally, Northrop Grumman, a classic play on defense. Well, the world isn't becoming any safer, and Northrop is a leader in space, hypersonics, and cyber. And those are the areas that have uh, the most visibility, the most budget growth, and, uh, and also they have a very strong backlog. This is because of the uh, replacement of the uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles oh, no. and long-range strike bombers in the United States. Uh, they have that business, and those assets have become 30 or 40 years old and need to be replaced. The nuclear missiles, the, the apocalyptic missiles, they need replacing in America? The Minuteman project was uh, completed in the early 1970s, so that's the age of those assets. Uh, so they need to be switched out. Uh, and I don't know if the uh, new missile has been named yet. Uh, we refer it at, to it as ground-based strategic defense. The other thing which is interesting is it seems as if Australia is interested uh, in a capability like that. I don't know whether or not they'll be offered that product, uh, but I do understand that they're going to be purchasing uh, nuclear missile submarines mm -hmm. from the United States where Northrop has some share. I understand they're also interested potentially in buying the long-range strike bomber. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunate that we have to spend money on uh, on that stuff, but I guess that is uh, the reality of the world we live in. D uh, David, we've very little time. Do you think there will be an unfortunate need to massively increase defense spending uh, in Western countries? I think that everybody has agreed to spend the 2% of GDP on oh. defense that they promised in the NATO treaty, and I think that if we want peace, we're going to need to make those investments. Uh, I don't want to get into a political discussion here, but as far no. as I can tell, it's been out of a position of strength that we've achieved peace, and uh, we've already tried um, accommodation and look at the behavior of Iran, the People's Republic of China, and of Russia. So let's try showing strength instead, and let's see if that allows us to negotiate from a position of strength and in that manner achieve peace.